Welcome to Life Bites Mindful Mondays. I'm life, business, and energy coach, Nina Bosky. And in today's grounding session, we're gonna help you get centered, cleared, and connected. Let's get started. Begin by settling into a comfortable seated position if you can. Feet flat on the ground or crossed if you feel like you're sitting on the floor. Allow your hands to rest on your lap, palms facing up, ready to receive. Now close your eyes and take a few slow, deep breaths. And imagine yourself creating a grounding cord in the form of a tree trunk. Whatever tree trunk feels natural to you, a palm, an oak, a maple, and take the roots of that tree trunk and anchor yourself to Mother Earth, yourself, your essence, to who you are. And start to release everything that no longer serves you. And as you inhale, invite a sense of calm. And with each exhale, letting go of any tension, expectation, or need to be anything other than yourself right now. Now focus on your breath, inhaling deeply through your nose and exhaling softly through your mouth. Allow your breath to slow down naturally feeling it move in and out of your chest. Now, two feet out, I'd like you to create a circle of light all around you. And in that circle of light is a circle of yellow roses. And those yellow roses represent your true sunshine spirit where your personality and your higher self are working hand in hand. Let's create a circle of pink roses around you that represent love and compassion for yourself as well as the outside world. And now let's create a circle of red divine roses all around you, representing protection from anything that is not of your own energy and your own light. Put everything on the outside of your space that is not you, from experiences you just had to people to furry animals, everything goes on the outside of your space and say to yourself, I claim me. Now take a nice big deep breath with each inhale. Imagine drawing in a sense of peace and openness and with each exhale, letting go of anything that is weighing you down. Let your breath become the anchor that pulls you into the present moment. Now let's come up to your sixth chakra right between the brow. And about two feet out, you're going to create your movie screen and put your life this week on your movie screen. Say hello to all the opportunities that are coming in, some you're aware of, some you're not even quite acknowledging yet as they haven't come into your physical space. 
say hello to your challenges and all of your blessings. Now, as you look onto your movie screen, I'd like you to see a pathway. And on this path, on a tree stump, is a mask. And you go over to the mask, and you're now holding it in your hands. This mask represents the image you present to the world. The parts of yourself that you feel you must hide or alter. Maybe this mask holds your fears, your need for approval, or even expectations of others. Take a moment to notice what this mask looks like. Is it heavy? Is it light? What does the heaviness represent? Or what does the lightness represent? Is it colorful or plain? Feel its texture in your hands. Just acknowledge. You're objectively looking at it without judgment. Remember that this mask serves you at times. It might protect you. It might be supporting you in ways that you've been able to keep going in your life when you feel you're not safe. But it's time now to release the areas of this mask so that you can step fully into your truth. Facing your truth. Continue breathing deeply. Imagine bringing the mask up to your face and taking one look at it. Feel any emotions that arise, knowing that it's safe to let them flow. What areas do you feel that you are holding yourself back, hesitating, not completely revealing who you are? You might have a valid reason to hide at times, to keep that mask on. But the awareness of this mask and when you need it and when you don't is important as you then get to choose, not by chance, but by choice to wear your mask. Now let's look at some of the qualities that are carried in this mask. Any emotions that you feel. It's important first and foremost to be honest with yourself, whether you keep your mask on at times or not. What areas can you release and let go by facing some truths in yourself. You are safe. You are protected. 
in this moment you no longer need your mask now when you're ready gently take the mask away from your face and place it back on the stump beside you and with each breath feel the space that opens up within you notice that by facing these truths in yourself there is a sense of lightness a new softness a new calm trust that this space is for you the true you the version of you that doesn't need to hide place one hand over your heart and the other over your stomach feel the warmth of your hands this can be a warm comforting reminder that your truth is safe within you breathe deeply into this space and with each breath you feel more and more grounded to who you are with each breath you feel a growing strength a quiet confidence that allows you to move forward facing the truths in your own life now start to bring yourself back into the center of your head that six chakra you look back onto your movie screen with a final breath inhaling clarity and exhaling any self-doubt and let's bring down a beautiful golden sun of light coming down through the heavens coming down through that crown chakra into your sixth chakra the sense of knowingness you can always come back to this space you can always come back to your mask but for now you're facing your truths bring that golden light down into your fifth chakra you're expressing your truth and authentic self and affirming that it's safe for you to be you coming down into that fourth chakra igniting that warmth and that power and that clarity in those truths and the safety that's within you as you move back down into your solar plexus manifesting your truth manifesting who you are as it comes down into your second chakra right below the navel saying hello to all of your relationships and the pleasure of life and being more authentically you as it comes down into the base of your spine your root chakra love of self filling in that foundation of life your foundation love of self as it comes down through your legs creating that strength and flexibility down through your calves and into your feet wiggle your toes say hello to your fun fairies the magic of life as it comes back down into mother earth say to yourself i am strong i am powerful i am grounded and all is well everything in my life is moving forward exactly 
as it should be. Take a nice, big, deep breath. Release. Stretch it out. And open your eyes. Now that you are grounded, cleared, and connected, let's move on to this week's message and life theme. All right, you beautiful souls. This week, let's talk about getting real and no more sidestepping the truth. This is all about facing truths this week, especially the truth you hold inside of yourself. You know, imagine how liberating it would feel to stop hiding, to drop the mask, and just let your authentic self come through in every part of your life. Now, there are people that I know that can do this a lot better than even I can, and I think there's times that we put our masks on for good reason. It's not safe. It's You don't want to be in a fight with everybody showing people who you are, especially if it isn't safe. However, I think we hold our masks on without being aware that we're holding them on so tightly to our face that we forget who we are. (laughs) And believe me, it's easy to do in this world because we're moving at such a fast pace, we forget that our mask is on and that we're really not being true to mainly ourselves, let alone other people. So here's what I want you to try. I want you to just take a moment and sit with yourself and just breathe into your heart and allow your heart to speak to you. And as you breathe in and out, it should be relatively easy for you to get to given the fact that we just finished our grounding. And as you breathe in a few breaths, and breathe out, I want you to just say to yourself, it's safe for me to be real. And I want you to ask yourself, where have I been holding myself back? What truth am I avoiding? Now, these truths can be big. I had a client who was deathly afraid to come out of the closet. She is gay and did not want her parents to know. That's a huge truth that she's hiding. Now, part of the reason why she may be hiding is she doesn't feel safe or she feels potentially that it would hurt them. Whatever she's feeling in that moment, it's still keeping her from being authentically her. I have another situation in where uh, a dad and his son, where he does not want to follow in his dad's footsteps, and he's having a hard time facing that truth, not only within himself struggling with it, but let alone having that conversation with his father. So these are some of the bigger truths, but they're smaller truths. It could be um, a political situation where you are with somebody at this point, we're in a council culture. If you believe differently than the other person and the culture we're living in, we don't always accept other people's truths. So we cancel them out. So we hold ourselves back. Those also can be truths that we're not revealing, keeping the peace. Now, I'm not judging whether they're right or wrong, but it's important for you to know where you're holding yourself back in your own truth. Okay. 
a smaller truth around these roles could be you have a boss that doesn't listen. So you, you, there's some, a term called silently quitting, and we just stop fully showing up as we truly are. So every day we're faced with our mask, or our truth, and we interchange these depending on who we're talking to. So I'd like you to pick one area in your life where you tend to put on a front. I've named several areas that might help, you know, jar uh, some instances where you may be holding yourself back, not speaking your truth fully. And like I said, the mask might be important as it's your protection. But sometimes we use our excuses as a way of avoiding fully stepping into our truth. So I want this week to be a week in which you're facing your own truth. Because guess what? Nobody has to know about it but you. But if you're avoiding things and wearing your mask 24-7, do you understand you're not really, you're a version of yourself that isn't really truly who you are? Lastly, I want you to ask yourself, what is weighing on you? Where's the energy drainer that pulls you away from your truth? Identify it. It might be just one thing. So energy drainers can come from the outside world, or you may be the energy drainer. People are avoiding you, etc. So I want you to think about where your energy is being drained. And then decide whether you are going to shift it or release it. Because the more you can be fully you, the more alive you're going to feel. The more passionate you're going to feel. Because you're living in your truth not half hidden behind old fears and excuses. So this week is a week of facing truths, taking off your mask as much as possible. Let's all do this together, step by step. And this week, it's all about to start living the life that you have been wanting. It's waiting for you. You've got this, but you got to be willing to face it. Face your truth. I hope you've enjoyed this week's Mindful Mondays. Be sure to join us this Friday for another episode of Life Bites as we get you inspired in the areas of life, business, and media. I'm your host, life, business, and energy coach, Nina Bosky, and remember until next time, sometimes in order to speed up, you've got to learn how to slow down.